Alright guys, we are going through some advanced tips for this game. Uh, what do you say about this, Cody? Right, oh, secret so intel. when you're in the middle of the desert, there are like elder sandworm things. And one time you kill them, it makes a, like, a quick sand effect and you get sucked down. And it takes you into this cave, which you can only claim once a day. It's actually hard to get. But it's like rare Hanamichi codes, gold bars, legendary chips, everything you would ever want in the game is in here. Most really? So you're fighting, and then all of a sudden, you just start sinking in quicksand, and you think you're about to die, but then you end up just appearing into the most magical place ever. Yeah. Whoa, that's, that's a lot of gold bars. Found the treasure location. It's here. Look, if he gets a supreme on his first one, that's gonna be insane. Like his yeah. first. There we go. Oh, I have to do this code. Wait. Should I try to do? So right now I have a link and it's letting me do it, but I I don't think it's the best link. Oh, you just gotta connect it. I don't think there's any specialty of better. Alright. I haven't really tried that, actually. That's a good idea. Alright, I got treasure modification. Use. Blue modification blueprint 53. That seems it's lame. Different. It's, it's not though. You'll need that a lot when you get your Supreme or your Legendary. Mm -hmm. Which will have more. Alright, when I get it, the beta ends soon. Alright. Okay, so uh, we did that. Now you were telling me that I need to know something and, and as, as far as like an advanced tip, I need to know more about something called the code. What is the code? Oh, the code system. Okay, cool. Let me get out of this treasure cave. I'm trying to add one of our members ages in. Okay, so I'm going to try make this as simplistic as possible, but it can be To micro -tea. Okay, should I go to a safe location? Let me go to the safe location real quick. I'm almost there. Should I go to my cabin, maybe? Yeah, cabin would be fine. Alright. Oh, you should be able to invite me to your house now, by the way. I have I did have a setting on that stops you from inviting me. <laughs> you did. You were being antisocial. I didn't even know it was on. Alright. Oh, we're not on a team anymore. Alright, leave the team. Yeah, I'm gonna make a new uh, one for the PvP now, in case we get it. Yesterday, what level were y'all? Uh, I was 28, and I think you were 23 or 22. Got it. So that's the difference. The difference is y'all weren't 30 yet. And... Y'all went from 28 to 32, and I went from 25 to 30. You're not even your max level, because you still got story quests. That'll probably push you to 31, 32. Mm, I don't think so. I only have a 1,000, 1,500 experience left that I can get. And experience-wise, I still need 35. Oh, that's what I'm... But that's what I'm saying. You know that daily experience, it has nothing to do with the story. Story is on its own thing altogether. Oh, that's right. That's another advanced tip for you guys. The uh, storyline quest gives experience regardless of how much, you know, the best way to get experience is to do the daily, especially what we're trying to do right now with the, with um, doing um, the PVP. It's amazing. You get so much experience. But once you run out of that in the top over there, in the top uh, right where it says 22,000 out of 24,000, 
once you run out of that maximum daily XP, then you are, um, then you're you're almost done. But you can still do storyline, and if you can pl keep going on the storyline, you can keep getting more experience, and so that that allow. So I guess if I did that, I I would, I might even be able to catch up to you guys. Yeah, I think so. Which is weird because I've been trying to do that technique you're you're talking about the whole time, and it's just not been working for me. What has it been working? So there's a method that beta people have been doing from the second beta, where they found out that if you do the it's either the story quest first and then the dailies, or the dailies first and then the story, then you end up going higher than you're supposed to of that cap of day. And I've been trying to work out what order it is. And I think if you mess it up at the start, then it doesn't really work afterwards. But somehow I think you've managed to do it by accident. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's really precise. You have to do certain things in the right moment. So your experience just tops off in the right way. So you can go past the limit of what you would normally stop on. Because me and uh, Eleanor, we're two levels away from our next story quest. So if we did it right, we could hit the next story quest and then go up some more levels. I'm gonna try this. Three, three are matching. If two random level 30s can just join <laughs> and just match yeah. by themselves, that would give us a match. <laughs> well, no, I mean, if they're there, just message us and we'll get in. Yeah, but, but I don't say nothing. We're just too high level. We're too high level. So for those of you who don't know, this game is still in beta. Uh, at the time we're recording this, and so we are, you know, as high as it gets. They just, the today is the first day that anyone could even hit level 30, and so we are having trouble matching in PvP because there just aren't eight level 30s in the, in the world of Project Arrival right now. So that's making it hard for us to to be able to do it. But if you've seen my other videos, doing PvP is the fastest way to get a crazy amount of experience. Uh, I think you get like 9,000 experience and not, I mean, just 20 minutes. Uh, how long are games, 10 minutes each? Two minutes, it depends how quickly you kill 25 people. Yeah, it's fast. So, especially with Elena on one of the teams, it goes really fast. All right, yeah. what, are, what are some other advanced tips that just only advanced players would know? Food is key. So in Sundell, there are a place where you grow like strawberries, pineapple, stuff like that. A uh -huh. lot of people overshun it, but these buffs, when they go epic, the it's drastic. I made a gathering buff that gives me 50% more yield and speed and when you're collecting herbs and anything like trees it just makes farming so much quicker okay so i made stewed ribs that gives me uh five percent extra to my max hp and it gives me a four percent movement speed bonus that felt pretty good that's pretty good was that a blue one or was that a green it's one? purple it's purple okay yeah that is pretty good but you see, with purples, depending on the food quality, you can still push it further than that. It will still be purple, but it will be higher. You just Got need to it. raise the particular ingredients higher. Quality that makes sense. Of the ingredients. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So going to uh, the better zones, getting the better resources, learning the recipes. Now, when you go to your recipes, is it... Let's see. What are... Okay, recipe. So stewed ribs is the one I have and it's not really telling me what I need to, to make food, stewed ribs. I don't obviously have the materials. How do I see what I, what, a need, what I need for it? There's an area for recipes. Is that right, Eleanor? Yeah. There's a recipe area, and if you've made it once, it should just show up there. Yeah, I see it, what but it... it won't tell me what I need. Oh, that's weird. Normally it does. I guess maybe it won't because you don't have it. Maybe you're right there. Maybe you just can't see it if you don't yeah, have the materials anymore. I don't have the materials on me. So if I had the materials, it would tell me. But um, So it increases movement speed and max HP. Some of these other ones. Um, amplif damage amplify rate. Um, 
This one increases damage to bosses. No, decreases damage to bosses. That's not good. Decreases elemental damage taken. I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's a defense. If it says decreases, it's normally towards but they hit you instead of what. But you what do is to them. the what is the thing you were saying? The pizza is one of your favorites. So what what does that one get you? I can't remember now. I did screenshot it to you, and I was just like, "Lad, it was another gathering thing." And then I tested it out, and what happened was I got triple how much other materials I got. So if I normally get three iron ore, I started getting nine. Uh, I got loads more wood, loads more everything, and on top of that, I was getting loads of these special flowers that share buffs to other players, and I got like several. Got it. So those you. Buffs were just Really so good. you used a food that gave you a buff on gathering resources. Yeah, that's what the and, pizza does. Oh, that's what the pizza does. Okay, the recipe for the pizza is two wheat, one strawberry, and one meat. Um, and so, and then that gives you extra gathering resources, which will, that's cool. I really like that aspect. Here, I'll see if I can't show people this. Um... Here we go. So this is the homemade pizza. Uh, the wheat, and where'd you get the wheat? Wheat is from that thing I, t I said at the start, which is this area where you farm materials and it, it you can grow it. I don't believe you find wheat. You have to grow it yourself. Got it. Where do you get the seeds for wheat? Uh, there's a machine next to where you grow it and you buy it from there. Okay, you gotta show me where this is. Oh, is it, is, it in my, is it in my base? Is it at my base? No, it's not your base. It's actually outside your base. It's in Sundale. Sundale. All right, I'm going to mm -hmm. Sundale to find this out. Track the hydroponic farm. So this is, this is a really important location, it sounds like. Yeah, you want to do this day one. You don't want to do this any other time. Day one. Okay, wow. Well, yeah. everyone can see that I didn't do it, but that's fine. Y'all, y'all, that's the point. Y'all fix, y'all do the things that I didn't do. All right, so day one, you come and you activate this portal because you need to be here often and quickly. And then is this where you buy the stuff? This is where you buy the seeds. All right, so we got wheat seeds. We've got pineapple seeds, desert pepper seeds. Well, what, what do we get here? You've convinced me on wheat seeds, so we're gonna buy some wheat seeds. What else do I get? If you're not sure, just buy one of everything, it's fine. You, AA coins are not a problem to get. You've probably got seven million of it already. I do ex seven have exactly seven million. <laughs> that was a very educated guess. All right, yep, now we You go in here? I'm in here. Now I believe you've got to activate this. And it will take you on some Check. type of quest journey of doing certain things in here. All right. I mean, elect electric reducers intact, intact, intact. All right, just has a bunch of check marks. Cool. So that's all right then. So you don't have to do nothing. Cause I'm just trying to remember now. Cause it's been a while since I've done this. So where do okay, I? So here. Wait, what is where, this where guy? I'm standing. This oh. guy's making me talk. Oh, there's no one there. I think you're seeing dead people. I see dead people. <laughs> okay, where, where am I going? All right, so, so here is your storage. This storage connects to your main storage back at your camp. So anything you store in here will, you know, relate okay. to that. So you can go ahead and put your seeds in there. Uh, okay, it's a crafting bench. You'll need that later, but not yet. Uh, okay, it's not letting. There's no. Where's storage? You're not able... Storage is here. This fridge thing here. It's not letting me store. It not. It says craft, maintain, disassemble. Hmm. Okay. Cool. All right then. Maybe you can't do that yet. Maybe it's too soon. Have you got something here? It's a cook. I can cook here. Okay. Cool. Not that then. All right, I'll take you to the next bed then. Alright, so there's a thing here. And this should allow you to gather water from it. You might have to fix something first. Check. Can be collected after 
Nine hours. So not yet then. Unlocks at hydroponic level four farm. Yep. So over here, and this is the bit where you actually start growing stuff. Okay. You click on this machine here and it should let you uh, put the seeds that you have into it. Okay. Obtainable. It says collect all. This facility does not belong to you. Something's wrong. Oh, okay. This is why. Okay, this happened with you, didn't it? Um, I don't know. So I think it's because it says there's some type of weird party system, right? So if you're on our party, I think you can't. It just puts you in attack with my one. And if my one's higher level, you can't do anything with it. So what I need to do is kick you out. <laughs> You've or got make to me the party leader. Okay, let's try that. I don't know if it'll work. There you go, you're leader now. It's oh. putting me through a reloading. Oh uh, yeah, I just reloaded too. Alright. Ah. Okay, maybe it did work. Where are we going? Oh. Where, where the hell are we? <laughs> no! Wow, it took us all the way over here. Good thing you got the teleport, right? I did. Wait, it's... Okay, I gotta... Wow. Yeah, good thing I activated that teleport because uh, I'd be real annoyed right now. That should mean uh, that we'll have your farm. But I don't sure. know why they've done that. That's... I think that's just bad coding. I don't agree with that at all. I don't know yeah. what made them think that was a, a good idea. And why... Why teleport me so far away? Mm. Oh. Alright, it's fine. We'll I'll get let you there. go first, just in case it's... Uh, I wanted to make sure it's yeah. your farm. Yeah, I'll let yeah, you go yeah. first. Alright. Okay, back to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this to see if anything's changed. Oh, it's it's locked. I can't even open the vending machine. Okay, so you got Activate. the seeds in advance. Okay. Track. Oh, you probably stole my seeds then. I ah, stole your no seeds, one. sucker. You took my seeds. All right. So insufficient power. I guess we gotta go. So the, yeah, okay, so there's a whole like quest line here. Yeah. Activate. That's what I was hoping would happen, you see, because I didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see what you see. Okay. And I'm gonna activate this. Plantable. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna plant some wheat seeds. 30 minutes, does that sound right? Yeah. That's about right. Whoa, we and I'm getting faster. I'm getting a renown from this. The the stuff I was asking about earlier. Hmm. Okay. So I'm go over here. I'm dying of thirst. Power. Oh, you might be able to use that water thing, thing that I showed you earlier. Now. That's what I'm hoping for. Collect all. Yes. I've got pure water. I'm not going to die. Live. I get to live. If you want to, if instead of drinking that water, if you cook that water, you can make the water level of it go up. You cook it. So instead of it giving you 10, for example, it'll give you 15 if you cook it. Okay. Since I we're like doing that. A tip for Jeff. No, that's good. Insecticide. Well, I guess I will. If you want to stretch it further then do one water and several berries and that gives you lots of water also make sure you use the useless berries up because the water you're using there is used for doing the plants so if you drink it then you haven't got water to give to the plants oh <laughs> did you drink all of it <laughs> no no i didn't but 
Okay, what do, what do they want me to do? Uh, submit materials to construction workbench. Oh, I have to construct this workbench. Submit. It's confused. It's like, ain't there supposed to be transparent things for you? And like, everything was pre-made. Yeah. It's very suspicious. Yeah. It it definitely looked like I was in a uh, more advanced. They were like, you need to get this to level four, everything. And I was like, I'm not sure if I'm level zero or not. All right, so, okay, so here's how to create manganese steel, carbon steel. Have I been able to make this yet? Yeah, you should be able to make everything now since you're level five. Oh, and uh, here's, wait, here's the storage. Up, unless you haven't made your house, then, yeah, because your last level's up and it gives you do stuff, doesn't it? All right, what do I do now? All right, gotta, gotta harvest my crops in the test field. This is awesome. This is really important. Uh, so, day one, this needs to happen. Once you okay, level it up water. to a certain point, once you level it up to a certain point, you get to do it from remote from your camp later on, so you don't have to keep coming here. Oh, really? Well, now, are you at that point? Yeah, I'm at that point. All right, fertilizer purchase, insecticide purchase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is huge. This is gonna give me, you know, I didn't know where to get water. I fertilize. What am I doing now? Harvest crops. I can't harvest it yet. There's no rush. You can't rush it, right? No. The only way to rush it is if... Uh, the only way to rush it is you need to be in the same camp as us and then we get an option to help you out with it. Got it. That's cool. So, and I guess eventually I'm going to be able to unlock more fields of of growing so you, stuff. So you can't unlock this right now? Because I thought you could unlock this one. This blue no, one, if you go I next to it, the option comes up. No. I think I have to harvest the first one. Which I have to wait 30 minutes, and I, I don't want to do that in this video, so... That's cool. So I was going to... Obviously, if you edit the right parts out, I can show you the second thing that's important, because this isn't the only thing. Okay. Yes, so basically just to summarize this guys, do all these quests, harvest these fields. This is really important. Do this day one so that you can get wheat growing and some of these other crops so that you can have some of the more advanced uh, food like pizza, which will allow you to then when you go gather stuff, gather it a lot faster, gather a lot more resources. Okay, show me what the other thing that was important. So the next thing on the teleport is, right, so the name of the location is Signal Monitoring Station. It's quite up in the northern forest. So I must have, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'm going to teleport there, but I don't think you can see me on the map if All I right. go over Sundale there. Sundale Valley, Signal Monitoring I... Station. Yep, that place. That's the that's the next place that's really important. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've just leveled this place up to level three. Level I'm three. Just entering it. So while I drive there, uh, go ahead and tell me some of what makes this so important, because it might take me a tad little bit. Okay. To so get this there. is going to be your. Your your process your processing center for primal gems, munition codes, and gold bars. And you'll get munition codes from this every day daily. The higher you upgrade it and the quicker you upgrade it, the rarer the munition codes you get. Because there's green, there's blue, and there's purple munition codes. And the rarer those munition codes are, it gives you a chance of getting secret intel. And secret intel gives you a chance of getting legendary chips. 
legendary supreme guns. Well, only supreme guns. You can't get legendary on there. It has to be supreme if you get a weapon. And um, all the other amazing, super amazing stuff. So if you slack on this, it will hurt you later. This is still a day one thing to do. Day one thing to do. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. I'm struggling. Like you're noticing now with the farm thing, you want to have that farming, then go off and do something, and then pop back to it the same day. And then you'll max out your farm, and then you'll have a moment where you'll be like, okay, cool. You can't do any more because it'll say, ah, you need to be level 25 or level 30 to raise to the next level. That's when you know you're okay. Until your mission in the farm tells you that, you have to keep pushing it until it's maxed out. Got it. Okay. So, basically, what I'm hearing is um, is that the most important things to do early on are, is both in Sundale Valley. You get your farm running, you get the signal tower running, and... Get lots of rewards in the future, pretty much. Okay. Hold on, let me activate the tower. You're here again. I don't even see you this time though. Oh, it's put me in a different line again. Yes. Well, That's okay. I don't know because... why, but I also am confused why. Okay. I just, I don't, I hate when it doesn't take me straight to the teleporter. Because I don't want something to go wrong. And all right, activate the teleporter. Okay, now that the teleporter's activated, I'm gonna um, figure out how to activate this monitoring system. So you were saying that this create helps me make gold bars and uh, cement materials for construction here maybe saying so maybe saying create is the wrong word for it you get a code that gives you like a scanning equipment and then you go and hunt for these boxes that can give you any of these loot or any of these kind of rewards basically got it so that's what that is it's like a treasure hunting base if you think of it that way a treasure hunting base so it sends you missions to go get those things hmm. A bit like what you did the secret intel earlier. Got it. It's a little bit like that. Okay, so it what we did earlier where we got the secret intel, that was um that that that's what this does all the time. Yeah. Well it has a chance of giving it to you because secret intel is a really, really rare thing to get in general. Got it. But it's super valuable. Yep. There's only one other way to guarantee get secret intel, and that's to do the hardest raid in the game. Okay. And we tried it today. Hey, can, and can you sell oh, me? God. <laughs> can you sell can me? Tell you something? Uh, three ceramic uh, plates, real quick. I've got it, of course. I'm gonna have to teleport to the camp. Yeah. It just came to you. But I need to go to the camp now. You having some more? I haven't had any yet. Ah, the queen is trying to steal in all the goodies, man. Just all the desserts are going to be gone before I get a chance. Ah, why? You, 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 you're the doghouse. Still way around now. You're in trouble. <laughs> I'm in uh, the doghouse? No, no, no. Queen is trying to the doghouse. She's eating all the desserts. I'm upset with her. Uh. She's supposed to save me some. Uh, okay. The, was it ceramic? That was it. Ceramic, yeah. Ceramic, I think, is the one that only needs iron. Oh, I've got... How many you need? I've only got two. Ugh. 
I'm gonna see if I can make more, but how many did you need? I need three. Three. Oh, I can do one more, surely. Yeah, it's okay, I've got it. Alright, good. Oh, yes. In Eden, ceramics become super easy to make. So the sooner you get to level 30, the better. Ceramics become ridiculous. Okay. Therefore... So that's another tip in a minute, I'll say. Because that's... Oh, that's a big deal. No, that's great. You can say it now. So basically, when we get... So tell me when you got it up. So I'm going to put the cell thing up quickly, the ceramic. Okay, so I'm selling five. Okay. For a robbery price of 78 gold each. There All you right. go. Purchase. So, oh, I yeah. I forgot. It... I still have to go get them out of the inbox. I hate that. <laughs> when it becomes remote, your base things, it's easier. But for now, it's just a pain in the ass. So when you get to Eden Gate, which is the level 30 zone, there is still stone and trees to cut. But it's, it's a waste of time. You can do it, but it, you're just wasting time. If you go okay. into the main city, you only use the you know the, the claw thing that gets like rubber and materials, right? That uh -huh. thing, whatever it's called, the pliers. Yeah. yeah. The pliers start picking up like four to five items at once. And if you put a yeah. gathering food on top of that, it just gives you crazy materials that make ceramic, like all okay. the stuff you got from previous stages, they seem to just all be on that stage. Really? Literally. Even so, resin. Resin is stupidly easy to get all of a sudden. You get loads of it. And resin could be quite time consuming because you have to cut trees and it's quite rare in trees and it's just time consuming. But not in the level 30 area. So the top tip for that is you can put the time in and get to that zone quicker than anyone else and do the XP trick that JCF somehow did by accident <laughs> then you will be able to sell all these things that people need under 20 and 10 a lot and you'll make a, sh a crap load of gold bars and a stupid amount because it's just it's high in demand it always will be because other people will be trying to do their farms make weapons make their gear some people because they don't have purple those marks that guarantee epic armor and epic weapons they're going to be spamming making blue armor to make it purple so if you want to get so really rich in this game it sounds like you you want to rush to 30 so that you yeah. can get those items or so that you can Basically, it'll be easy for you to get all those items, and then you can just sell them. Yeah. Since you control the market, you can do it at top price. Yeah. So, yeah, that's gonna be... Yeah, gotta do that soon, because as soon as people hit fade, that's it. It's gonna be useless. It's not gonna be helpful, or no one's gonna buy it anymore. Interesting. That is interesting. I wonder if you could even time it to where, even if you're not 30, you just sell it really high the day before it, like everyone's gonna turn 30, and then you just use the money you made to buy it back when it's worth a lot less. Yeah, but then after a certain point, it depends on like after 30, what type of things they put in place if ceramic is still being used at that point or if they've just that's true crazy yeah. items that's the problem with the market you got to be able to really predict it well and it can be tricky okay finish that took a little while so any more day one stuff because you can't do anything in the desert until day two minimum there's uh -huh. no point mentioning any desert stuff which is where you get all the ore and the mining stuff, which is important, but it's you can't do that day one. Uh... Okay, so common intel three times a day, rare intel 0.5 times a day. What does that mean? So when you upgrade that, that will increase, and then when the reset happens, which I think is 6 o'clock in the morning, UK uh -huh. time, uh, okay. that will refresh and it will have munition codes in there and that'll be the certain amount it will give you but if you don't upgrade it so mine's at level three right now it will give you less so if got you it. keep on top of it it'll give you better yield got it so munition codes um and then 
and then the man there's and then gold bars and signal and then some and then the wow what do you call it the the intel one yeah. that we got earlier in this episode so yeah this place is pretty awesome so i need to do both of these right away and yeah that would have been really helpful if i had known that in from the beginning so um so that's it guys that's a bunch of advanced tips for you guys um if you're still like if this video is too advanced for you if you're kind of like man i don't i'm not i'm lost i'm not sure where you guys are at then make sure to watch some of the other videos that i've done that kind of ramp up to get to this point obviously i should have done these two tips about the hydroponic farm and this signal system that you need to do right away but the other tips if they're a little bit more advanced for you or you're like wait how do i get stuck in quicksand then don't worry about it go watch those other videos keep leveling up and then when you're ready to get to that point then come back and watch it again and you'll kind of or maybe you'll just you'll that old information you got will just kind of all of a sudden click and be like okay now i know what he's talking about all right guys see you next time